Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is me Mods. In today's video, we will be going over the tutorial on how you guys can download DLCs uh, in your custom firmware or hand firmware uh, PlayStation 3. Now, downloading your DLCs is pretty much the same as downloading PKG games. Uh, you need a PKG uh, file the DLC that is in a PKG file format, and you need a wrap file for that to activate the PKG file. Now we're going to move on over to the PC. Before we move on with the tutorial, please be sure to like and subscribe because it helps the channel a lot. Okay, so now that we're on the PC, we're going to be needing a few things. First of all, you're going to obviously need the package file and you're also going to be needing the wrap file that came with it. You also need a USB. Right here I have a SanDisk, not sure if you guys can see it, but yeah, it's a USB. If you are using Multiman or anything else, you do need to have uh, a FAT32 USB because there's no other way to access and transfer your files from the USB. However, if you are using Monoguns, uh, XFAT file format, an NTFS file format, or even a FAT32 file format will also work fine. I'm showing you guys how to format your USB over to FAT32 because I'm pretty sure most of you guys use Multiman. Alright, so now I'm going to plug in my USB. Alright, so right here we have our USB as you guys can see. Let me just minimize this. A little there we go as you guys can see this is our USB so what we're going to do is when we're going to take the package file and transfer it over to the root of our USB and we will do the same thing with the wrap file right here we're going to copy this over to to this root of our USB and now we're just going to let this uh, transfer over and then after that, we're going to move on over to the PlayStation. It's done. We can simply go on ahead and eject our USB. Now, one thing that I did forget to mention is to how to format your USB. So to do that, just simply right click and go on over to format and select your uh, file system that you want. There's XFAT, there's FAT32. I have it on NTFS. After you're done selecting your file type, just simply go on ahead and press on start and it'll format your USB. Now, we're going to eject our USB and move on over to the PlayStation. Okay, now that we're done transferring the files from our PC to our USB, now we're going to take the USB and plug it into our PlayStation 3. And one way to check whether your PlayStation has detected the USB or not is to go on over to music or video section and you're going to find it you're going to find uh, something like similar to this but it's going to be USB disk the uh, my USB is not showing up because it's an NTFS USB as you guys saw above you are using monoguns uh, pretty much any file format but if you are using multi-man you or iris man you do need a fat 32 USB type as it's pretty much the same So now that we have monoguns loaded up, we're going to go on ahead and press on select to open the file manager. And then we're going to click on NTFS0, that's our USB. And then this is the RAF file, and this is our PKG file. First, we're going to transfer the RAF file first because it's small and will take less time. So we're going to press on select, press square to select, and then click on triangle. Go on and click on copy. And then go back, click on these three buttons right here, go to dev HDD0, and then to X data, and then click on triangle and select paste. There we go. And we'll do the same thing for the package file right here. So we're going to press on square, and then we're going to do copy and we'll click on the three buttons, three dots here, and then go to back to dev HDD0. And then we're going to 
go on over to the packages folder and we're going to press on triangle and then click on paste now, now this does take some time so after this is done we're going to move on over to the next step okay so now that it's done we're going to click on the three dots again go back and press on circle circle again and then circle three times and we're back on the X and B screen okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll up and go on over to package manager go to install ps3 system storage and click on X now we're gonna let this install it's done we're going to click on circle go back and we will launch our game so the game that I'm using for today is Watch Dogs. The DLC that I downloaded uh, was Bad Blood. So we're going to boot up the game now. 